I realized like I have a tendency to just like push myself to what I might think is a, or like what might be actually a hundred in my capacity, but I think is like only 80%, right? Like I'm like, oh, I went like um, the other day we had like that brunch event for Asian Boss Girl. And then I came home and uh, I didn't really do very much. And the next day I ended up sleeping in so much. And I went to my boyfriend. I was like, why am I so tired? And he's like, well, you did have this event yesterday. I was like, yeah, but after the event, I was feeling so good. And like, I didn't feel like, you know, like uh, uh, drained at all. And he's like, okay, well, maybe you don't feel it initially, but it definitely is impacting you. And I share that because I think for me, that is like understanding that you like making an effort to try to push myself only to like my 70% and making that my like new 100%, if that makes Mm, sense. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because knowing that you always overshoot it, you're like, okay, let's try to exactly (laughs) pull back a little bit. Pull back a little bit. Yeah. It makes (laughs) me think of, I think there's like this like Japanese saying that you always only eat to 80% fullness because Mm -hmm. the, um, I think my mom says that she tells me that she's like, it's healthy to eat to 70 to 80%. Percent. Yeah. 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 And I think biologically how that works is that your brain, um, doesn't process the fullness for like, there's a bit of lag time. And that's kind of how I feel like sometimes, like when it comes to my energy, when it comes to my energy, I'm like, okay, like if I'm still standing, that means I'm good. (laughs) But no, it means that you're going to pay for it later. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, It's also like when you're in the zone or maybe you're like when you're already going, there's momentum. So you just keep going, but you don't realize that you've already passed that mark. (laughs) It's like, it is like the eating. Like when someone, something tastes so good, you just keep eating it, even though you're like not hungry anymore. (laughs) Exactly. And then, and then like 30 minutes later, you have a stomach ache and you're like, then you realize, oh my gosh. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So I, I think for me, I'm, I'm not, I'm still rusty at that and not the best at that, but, um, I'm trying to put that in practice. And I think if you're yeah. also an overachieving type, it's really hard to put that in practice because you almost feel guilty for not doing enough. But I just try to focus on, okay, like knowing that me spending another like hour doing this is actually going to be me losing an hour, like the next time. So if you start to really understand that it, it, there is a direct productivity like payoff to that. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. <laughs>